Hello everyone, welcome to The Wine Bank TV. Today is our second episode and in our first episode I talked about the health benefits of wine. Now in this episode I'm going to be listing 13 different wines under 1000 naira. I'm doing this because most people think um, indulging in wine as a healthy habit is kind of expensive but here I'll be showing you 13 amazing wines that are under um, 1000 naira and we'll also be tasting some of them if not all of them. Okay, I don't want this episode to be too long so I'll just do a part one, part two. Um, so the first one I'm going to be talking about is Castillo and this Castillo is a Spanish wine. It's, it's a nice red color. Mm. When I was tasting this wine before the one thing I noticed that it has a very nice aroma. <laughs> it's, it's very soothing and just it's nice. The first thing I noticed about this wine is that this wine is very cool. It's not too acidic. At the same time, it's not sweet. It's just balanced. It's not too bitter. It's not too sweet. It, it's you can barely even taste sweetness inside. But why I realized that it's it has a hint of sweetness is because I've tasted all the wines and you get that bitter thing in them. But with this one, there's there's no bitter you know taste to it. If you're not looking for it, you won't see. That is sweet. It's just a very cool red wine, and I really like this one. I really recommend this one. Next one we're going to be tasting is um, Zanipolo. Now, this is also a Spanish red wine. This wine is very similar to this one, so if you're not looking for the difference, you probably will see the difference in both of these wines. And this wine is a uh, 600 naira. This is actually our cheapest wine. The first thing I noticed about this wine is that this wine is dry. A dry, dry usually means that wine is not sweet. But in this situation, I'm talking about the feel of the wine on the tongue. Now, this one was just very smooth, just went down. No um, dryness or anything. But, but this one, it feels dry. Like, it is drying up my life and everything. So, that's the second thing. So, if the bottom line is that you just want to enjoy a smooth red wine, then Okay, so the third one I'm going to be trying is Blossom Hill. I don't know if it's very popular, but I, I know that a lot of people ask for this particular wine. So I was very excited to try this wine. This is uh, 950 naira. This is 600, 850, and this is 950 naira. Um, this is um, a red wine also. This wine is actually made in the United States. And honestly, I'm dreading this because I've tasted this wine before. And the first thing I realized I noticed wasn't right was the scent. So let me try it again. <laughs> Just to be fair, I think I'm probably exaggerating the smell, but compared to this one and this one, um, no, <laughs> it, it has a funny smell. Like it's it's not overpowering. Like it doesn't just hit you unless you actually sniff it, like I'm doing. The first thing I notice is that it tastes kind of sour. And by sour, I don't mean in the general sour term, but it's it's not as um, lively as Castillo, and it's not as um, ordinary <laughs> as Zanipolo. It's not very acidic. There's a slight hint of acidity there, but um, it's it's not overpowering. It's it's actually an okay wine. Like if you're not really particular about your red wine, just want some things you just past week, night or maybe something for a ceremony or something then this blossom here will be really good for you. These wines are made in South Africa. I have this in the 750 milliliter size and then we also have the smaller ones. These two are a thousand naira and then these two are 500 naira. So for this wine tasting because you know <laughs> you have to save money and all that I tried the smaller one. <laughs> Too much but I'm fine, I'm fine. <laughs> I'm fine. <laughs> First thing I noticed about this one is called this is a dark, deep red. This is a red wine. <laughs> it's a very, very dark red color. It 
Okay, um, mm. first thing, it's very dry. It's dried all the saliva from my mouth. It's acidic in a way. Not too much, it's just the bite is there. It has a slightly bitter taste to it. The very mature red wine for a very mature category of people who <laughs> don't want anything sweet in their palate. So this is actually really good. So see why it's popular. It's not too specific. It's and it's not general. There's a there's a very there's very little that's special about it, but it's enough for it to be a favorite. So I can see why people buy this, this one. Is a sweet red wine, Le Filou. And this wine is loved by quite a lot of people because it's very sweet, it's very relaxing actually. So um, we're going to be tasting it now. Mm. First things first, the fact that it's a sweet wine, this one's actually dry. Um, it's a dry wine. So it dries out the saliva in your mouth. Secondly, it's sweet. <laughs> it's a sweet wine. Um, I'm not sure this is my favorite so far. Um, it's a sweet wine. So if you have a sweet tooth, you like very sweet things, then this one would be perfect for you. Um, it's not very sweet because I suspect that there are other wines that are sweeter than this. But um, the thing about this wine is that when, when you first taste it, it seems like a normal, you know, just a hint of sweetness. But then when you now take it deeper, like to the middle of the tongue, then you, you get hit with how sugary it actually is. At first taste, you think it's a generally, you know, medium sweet wine. But um, when you take it inside, it's, it becomes very, very, very sweet. And then when you swallow it, it comes back again to a red wine taste. I've tasted five wines today and um, just so this episode is not too long, I think that's what I'm going to stop for today. For the five that I've tasted so far, um, Castillo is my favorite. So if you were to get any wine from the five that I've tasted so far, I would suggest that you get the Castillo brand. Um, it's 750, it's very affordable and um, you have the right to them. I think that's it for this episode. I'll bring the next episode with the remaining eight wines that um, I want to talk to you about. So they're under 8,000 Naira too that we have. So I'm going to bring that episode to you in our next episode. So um, I really hope you enjoyed this episode. And if you want to get any of these wines, you can just go online to our website, um, thewinebank.com. Um, you'll be able to find all these wines there and we're able to deliver it to you if you want. We're on Twitter, we're on Facebook, we're on Instagram, and we're on YouTube. So that's it for this episode today, episode two. So I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.